Hi and welcome. So my name is Emma Drew and welcome to Amari Aesthetics. Today we are going to be discussing pigmentation. So just to fluff through all the science of pigmentation, hyperpigmentation and whatnot, we're just going to get into the part where you prevent it and maintain flawless skin. Okay, so two products I'm going to bring up are Cyspera and also a pigmentation mask. They're both masks that you can use for about 15 minutes or less to up to hours at a time. And they mainly have ingredients that are going to prevent pigmentation from forming and also suppress current pigmentation and lightening up those dark spots that you're having. So what are the basics with um, pigmentation? It's mainly to protect, prevent, and inhibit and correct. So to protect your skin, that is with sunblock sunscreen. Always want to make sure you're wearing sunblock. Yes, with the myths, black people do need to be wearing sunblock because you may not see the damage that you're actually causing, but the damage will show up in five years, 10 years, 20 years, all at once. You're going to have no collagen or elastin. Your face will be completely sagged out and you'll probably have a lot of dark pigmentation as well amongst other complications. The next thing to do is prevent. Antioxidants are a huge benefit for your skin. So that's gonna include ingredients like vitamin C, vitamin E, niacinamide, and whatnot, to name a few. Then you have the correcting step. You have tyrosinase, which is an enzyme that helps to produce the melanin. And then you have the transfer of that melanin to the cells that pick up that pigment and give it its color, right? So with tyrosinase inhibitors, you're inhibiting melanin from being formed. This include um, hydroquinone, which is a classic ingredient that is used in dermatology. You have azelaic acid, you have mandelic acid, kojic acid, and then cysteamine. That word is kind of up for grabs in regards to how you pronounce it, but by all means. And then you have um, melanin transfer inhibitors. So like I was saying before, the melanin needs to be transferred to a cell and then that cell picks up the pigment, rises to the surface of the skin cell and then begins to show. So you can get pigmentation at various levels of your skin. Um, oftentimes people, let's say, um, very harsh, melasma, um, they've tried everything and it's not working. Most oftentimes it's in the dermal layer of your skin, which is probably a little bit deeper down into your skin. And what happens is that pigment is basically like a tattoo. It's tattooed in the deep layers of your skin. It's usually not treatable in most cases. And um, yeah, there's no solution for that. So again, melanin transfer inhibitors include niacinamide. So what are some hydroquinone free solutions that you can use like i was saying before you can use things that have a combination of niacinamide um, vitamin paired with vitamin c or kojic acid but sometimes those products depending on where you're getting it from either physician dispense or over-the-counter products things like walmart target or sephora the strength and the efficacy of these products really really vary so a few things I'm going to show you are, so one is the Meanline Correcting Home Mask, and then the other one is Cyspera. So cysteamine is a naturally found antioxidant found in our body. It helps from melasma, also all the way down to hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that people receive from or picking their skin, acne, any type type of inflammatory disorder. The main function of cysteamine is to protect your cells from DNA damage has been shown to clinically lighten pigmentation. It increases the natural glutathione levels within your body, a highly potent antioxidant. And then overall, it's helping to regulate the pathways of pigmentation formation. Who can benefit from this? Anybody that is suffering from pigmentation issues that have tried various types of products or just really concerned with the toxicity, you've tried hydroquinone and you need something to cycle off from, hydroquinone is a product that is brilliant, that works, but you can't use it forever. You want to use it for five months at a time, cycle off, use something else, and then you can get back on, especially for people who have disorders where they need to suppress their pigment to even it out. 
sometimes people with a bit of LIGO, when, you know, women in particular become pregnant, that's not an ingredient that they could use. This is something that you can use forever. This isn't going to give you the adverse reactions like Retin-A or hydroquinone or corticosteroids. How do you use it? This is a mass type of treatment, not something I'm usually used to with any type of brightening agent. Most brightening agents that I usually recommend for people are you leave it on, it's like a day serum or a night serum. And this one, you wash it off. You're not gonna wash your face before you. So if you have makeup on, wash your face. Wait at least an hour before you put this on just to reduce any irritation. For the first few weeks, you're gonna taper your weight up to a therapeutic level, meaning something where your skin can tolerate. So 15 minutes is where you're gonna keep it at, 15 minutes on, and then you wash it off. And that's it. Then you can go about your normal business with moisturizing your skin and using other products in conjunction with this or even just by itself. This is something you can use on your face. You can actually spot treat with this. You can use it under your eyes. You can use it on your lips. You can use it in your intimate areas, underarms, your knees, or say you wanna wear a backless dress for your wedding and you have a lot of pigmentation. This is something that you can start using now. Once you've gotten to a level where your pigmentation is under control, you can maintain the results by just using this twice a week. So it has a god awful scent, but hey, if it's gonna make me look good, my skin look even, I will put anything on my face. All right, so what you do is it comes in a pump form. You're gonna pump one pump or one to three, depending on the surface area. And then you're gonna apply it all over your face. It kind of smells like a mild perm. I don't mind it. I could put that on my face and just sleep in it, but only 15 minutes is all you need, okay? So depending on where you're putting it, this should last you at least three months, 90 days. So if you're using it on your face, it'll last you that mile. If you're using it on your face, your knees, your, your feet, your um, hands, then it's gonna go through a little bit faster, okay? So all you do is bare skin, Apply it all over your face. You could even do this on your neck, but of course you're going to use less time. Same with your lips, same with your eyes, same with your intimate areas. You're going to put it on. It's going to be left on for, say, your hands right now, 15 minutes. Go about your day. Then you're going to wash your hands and then moisturize. So you can work your way up to one time a week, and maybe that's all your skin will be able to tolerate. To every night, and then that's it. I like this product and I do see an immediate difference with my skin. Another line that I'm obsessed with is Me Line. They have a whole mask that you can use either as a treatment or almost like a mini peel. It has tranexamic acid, mandelic, phytic acid, bentonite, lactobionic acid, salicylic, retinol, and a little bit of azelaic and lactic acid as well. So this is a hero product for people who are suffering from pigmentation also people who are acne prone and want to fight pigmentation at the same time. My theory with fighting pigmentation and acne in Fitzpatrick's four to six, which are people of color, um, I always fight both at the same time. That's the way to go. Reduce your inflammation, control your acne and pigmentation, and then stop the triggers that are causing the acne and inflammation in your body. So it comes in a little jar, and this is for your personal use. Mix it up just so you can get all the contents fresh and active. And then all you do is basically put it on a little amount, thin layer all over your face. So this is good for about 45 minutes. You can do this two to three times a week um, in conjunction with your regular skincare. But this is going to be something you do first, so your treatment for a product like your face mask. Cleanse, exfoliate, do your treatment, wash your face again, and then put on your products. If you have any irritation or highly sensitive, then of course, go to a mild routine, do the mask, and then just put a moisturizer on afterwards. So this is all you're going to do, a thin amount all over your face. You can even bring it down your neck a little bit, but of course, remove it from your neck sooner just because it's thinner skin so of course just wash it off sooner so that's it all you're going to do is put this on all over your face and leave on for 45 minutes and that's it
some of my two favorite masks I'm loving right now for pigmentation. Um, also versatile for acne prone people is the Miline Pigment Home Mask and Suspera. So if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will see you guys next time.